All right, now here are some incredible features available on Samsung Galaxy phones you guys must check out. The first one is copying to clipboard on other devices. Now here, let me open the messaging application on both these phones, the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now I'll type something on one device and select the content and copy it. You see instantly the copied content is available to paste on another Samsung Galaxy device as well. That sounds amazing, isn't it? You can copy anything that you want on one device and paste it on another device. Now this will be very useful if you're using a tablet and a phone or phone and a Samsung laptop or a combination of any of these devices. The condition here is you need to log into the same Samsung account on all these devices to continue pasting the contents from another device. Let's say I am browsing something on a tablet and I want to copy an article from this particular web page I can just copy it and paste it on Samsung Notes application on another device. It all depends on your requirement, how you want to use it. It's a great feature which you must check out. Next, we'll be able to share the files up to 5 GB by creating a QR code or by creating a link which can be shared with others to access those files. Now, of course, quick share is something which you can definitely use, but that can be used only when you have two devices close to each other while sharing the files. But if you want to share a file up to 5 GB to a contact who is not next to you, you will be able to make use of Samsung Cloud to create a link or to create a QR code, upload the files and share them with others sitting in a different location. The other person can just click the link or scan the QR code that you have shared to download all these files. And these files will be accessible not just on the phone, you can also access it on any of the bigger screens like PCs or Macs. Now to do this, all you need to do is select the file that you wanna share, tap on share icon here, go to quick share. Now here you will see an option, share QR code. When you tap on that, a QR code will be created along with a link. You see at the bottom, we have got a link. You can share this link and you'll also be able to directly share this link to a particular contact. The best part is you can share the files up to 5 GB, which will get uploaded to Samsung Cloud. But the caveat here is you need to have that 5 GB space in a Samsung Cloud. If you have already backed up some data on a Samsung Cloud, then you might be left with some limited space. So be wary of that. Next, when you go to the settings on your Galaxy phone, you can tap on connected devices to find a brilliant feature called continue apps on other devices. When you enable this, you will be able to pick up where you are left off on another device signed into your Samsung account. Now this works on Samsung internet and Samsung notes. Let me just quickly demonstrate that to you. Now let's say you've got two different devices. Uh, I have got two different phones here, but let's assume you have got a tablet and a phone. Now let's say I'm typing something on my phone here on Samsung notes application. And if I want to continue the same note on another device, all I can do is just swipe up to go to the recent option on the uh, other device, you will see this notification on the top to continue working the same node on this device. I can just tap on open to continue the same work which I was doing on uh, the other device. Likewise, it works on the internet application as well. If I'm browsing something on a tablet, you can just go to the recents on your phone to continue reading that web page on your phone. That is the continuity feature we have got on Samsung Galaxy phones, which is just incredible. Again, this will be useful if you are using two different devices like tablets, PC or a uh, phone, you will be able to continue from a bigger screen to uh, your phone or you will be able to continue it from uh, the phone to a bigger device like laptop or a tablet for better productivity. Now, let's say you want to share a particular contact to someone else. What you usually do is you go to the contact and tap on share. You get these two options, vCard file or text file. Now, apart from the sharing options, if you tap on this more, you will be able to get another option here, QR code. When I tap on QR code, a contact QR code will be created for this particular contact. I will be able to share this QR code to somebody else. Or if you want to share it with someone who is right next to you, you can just show this QR code. They can just scan it from their phone's camera and save the contact, which is just amazing. Okay, next. Let's say you are getting notifications from a particular application, which is very, very important for you. And you want a reminder for the notifications coming from that particular application. You can set your phone to repeat the notification alerts from a particular application. For example, let's say you are getting some notifications from WhatsApp and you might have missed to check out your phone and that notification from WhatsApp might be very important for you. Now, if you have set the repeat notification alert for WhatsApp, then the phone is going to remind you that you have got a, a notification from WhatsApp. That's how it works. And to enable this, all you need to do is go to the settings, tap on notification settings, tap on advanced settings. Here you will see an option, repeat notification alerts. Just tap on that. 
enable it and select the application that you want and you'll also be able to set the repeat intervals for 3, 5, 10 or 15 minutes. And of course we do have vibrate when sound plays option as well. This is very convenient. Next, let's say you are getting a call and you want to take a quick note during your call. You don't really have to unlock the phone, search for the notes application or open the notes app and create a new note. All you can do is just tap on this three dot button. You have an option to create a new note. Just tap on that and start writing your note down while you're on a call. Next, we all know that we can clip a particular object from an image and copy it or share it, or we can also save it as sticker. Now you should also know that we can do this on video files as well. Let's say we've got a video here which is playing and I see an object which I want to quickly uh, clip or save it as a sticker. All I need to do is just pause the video press and hold on that particular image or that particular object, you will get copy, share and save as sticker options right here. Or you can directly tap on edit to go to the editing menu for this particular clipped image. Perfect, isn't it? Now let's move on. Let me now show you a cool feature on the Samsung keyboard application. Here we do have clipboard option on which we get to see all these recently copied items which are available in our fingertips. Now within this clipboard, we will be able to pin a certain copied contents for an easy access. To do that, all you need to do is press and hold on a particular copied uh, content, then tap on this pin icon, the content will get pinned and you will have a quick and easy access uh, for pasting that content whenever you are sending a message or writing an email. The clipboard on Samsung Galaxy phones lets us uh, save more than 25 to 30 separate contents which will be really useful. Next, let me show you something interesting in the messaging application. Let me open the messages. Now here let's say you have got a particular message which might be very important because it could be your credit card bill payment reminder or anything which is very important for you. Now if you want to get reminded of this message, you don't really have to copy the content and save a separate reminder on Samsung's reminder application. All you can do is open that particular message press and hold on it. On this menu, you get an option add to reminder. When I tap on add to reminder, the content will get pasted on the reminder application. And in some cases, it will also set the reminder timing by default if that content is available on that message. So it's very easy to create a reminder for a message without getting into reminder application. The integration between uh, the messaging application and reminder application, especially for creating reminders is just seamless. All right, now the last but not the least, this feature is about the screenshots. Now when you take a screenshot and crop that particular screenshot and save it, the cropped image will be saved in lower resolution. So to save it in higher resolution, what you need to do is after you take a screenshot, go into the gallery, tap on that particular screenshot that you've taken, tap on edit. Now you crop uh, the screenshot and while saving, it will automatically show you to keep the current resolution or to increase the resolution. When you tap on increase resolution, automatically the AI will enhance this particular cropped image to give you a higher resolution, which is just incredible. That was the last one I want to share with you guys. Now, uh, most of these features are available on the latest version of One UI, probably on the 6.0 and 6.1 and uh, all of them may not be available on the previous versions like 5.1 or 5 or 4.1. So be wary of that. But most of these features are available on all the latest Samsung Galaxy phones. Now this is the part one of this video. Part two will also be coming up very soon. I will showcase some more interesting features for you guys. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your Samsung Galaxy phones better and give this video a like if you find this video informational. And yeah, if you're interested in this wallpaper, I will leave a link for that in the description. In every video that I post, I will be leaving the link for the uh, wallpapers and the widgets. So if you're interested, you can go to all my previously posted videos and download some incredible wallpapers. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.